Okay, let's see what we got today from Vita. Hanoi Jane Fonda, door knocking in Michigan. Michigan. I've never done this for a president. Uh huh. <laughs> I've done it for. I had an ex-husband who came from Royal Oak, Michigan. Ooh. I've done it for him. Uh huh. But I've never done it for a president. But this is most important. Oh, definitely. We have to have to have to get them elected. Talking about kooky celebs, remember when Howard Stern was edgy and cool? Me neither, I'm not a hundred. Stern is only getting worse. Listen to this bile-filled rant about Trump supporters. I hate the guy. I hate the people who vote for him. I think you're stupid. I, I do. I'll be honest with you. I have no respect for you. Now to one of the Democrats' biggest celebrity backers, Puff Daddy P. Diddy, Sean Combs. He has uh, many names and is now facing many serious charges. But it wasn't long ago that P. Diddy was endorsing Democrats, raising money for them and running vote campaigns. He was so prolific and effective that Jimmy Kimmel wanted him to run for president. Remember this? Baby, you could be president. Do you ever think about anything like that? No. What about you? <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't do a better job, but I think I would, you know what, I would, if you agreed to run for president, I would be happy to be your running mate. Let's put it that way. All right. <laughs> Now to CBS, where a reporter had this triggering news for lefties about the battleground state of Nevada. It seems nowadays Nevada is mega country. But what was really incredible is in every single restaurant, the people willing to talk to us, we could only find one Harris supporter in mm. every restaurant. And we left no stone unturned. I approached every single person. Oh. Now every now and then CNN allow a lone figure from the centre right to uh, appear on one of their panels to be typically bashed by lefties, but here Scott Jennings manages to extract from the CNN crew that they know the bloodbath lie is a lie, but they allow it to be aired daily without correction or context. It is said by every Democrat working for or around her campaign every day on this network and every other one. The bloodbath thing is stated every single day. Okay, let me but just, my just point clear, is just dictator, clear this up. bloodbath, You're, eliminate constitution. Hold on. What do you Let's think? Let's just that clear this up. I, you're referring to Trump's use of the word bloodbath when he was talking. And what was he talking about? He was, I'm, I'm going to explain it to people because I think there's confusion about this. Use of the word bloodbath when he was talking about, uh, you know, vehicle manufacturing jobs in the United States. Vice President Harris improperly and unfairly mischaracterized that as him saying there would be a bloodbath if he were elected. However, she did not say that if Trump were elected, there would be a bloodbath. She did not say what, what, what? I know you have interviewed and had people out here and have watched the same coverage I have. The bloodbath garbage is an un it is a pillar of the Democratic campaign against Trump, as is dictator, as is eliminate the U.S. Constitution. And here is Don Lemon on CNN spewing a bunch of lies and hyperbole, including the aforementioned bloodbath lie. This is all to show that the assassination attempts against Trump are, well, his own fault. Crooked Joe, Crooked Hillary, Crooked Kamala, Comrade Kamala, Deranged Jack Smith, Bird Brain Nikki Haley, bloodbath and he's not elected. And it goes on and on and on and on and on. These people won't stop they won't stop they lie so much that they believe in they believe their own lies i could i could show you videos every day of what these evil mothers in the media and celebrities are doing on a day on a day-to-day -day basis anything anything in their power to get rid of Trump, even if it's to assassinate him. Imagine, imagine, just imagine if we were to say anything like that about anyone in the Democratic Party. They'd be knocking on your doors, ready to throw the keys away. These people are out of control. Like I've said before, they're evil. And, uh... Hopefully, hopefully they wake up. There's a lot of people that are waking up, but so many of these people are so so deranged with the Trump deranged syndrome that I don't know. 
I don't think there's any coming back with these people. But hopefully they wake up. Hopefully they wake up because this needs to stop. God bless America and God bless Donald J. Trump. Have a great day. See ya.